we have so much uh, waste outside nirvana which is being burnt and causing uh, ill health to the elderly and the children and the fact that we are responsible for what's going out also because i personally have experienced uh, over the past 6 uh, years of uh, you know composting my own kitchen waste it's such a beautiful experience when you do uh, use your kitchen waste as a resource and generate something which is so beautiful out of it you really don't want to see the community wasting that resource so we uh, decided to give it a push and go ahead for a solution which would work at a community level nirvana country follows the popular two bin one bag system for three way segregation of household waste the small green bin is for the kitchen waste the red bin is for the reject waste like household sweepings diapers and pads this waste cannot be recycled or composted and so has to be sent to the landfill the bigger green bin is for the garden waste generated from the homes all the recyclable waste like paper plastic metal and glass is collected and given to the waste pickers to sell and earn money out of it electronic waste in the form of old batteries bulbs wires mobile phones is stored separately in each home this toxic waste is given to an authorized e-waste recycler once every 2 to 3 months Nirvana country generates a large amount of horticulture waste. Dried flowers, leaves and twigs collected every day are shredded in the horticulture waste shredder. This garden waste is a rich source of carbon content which is essential to make good quality compost. Once the segregated kitchen waste from all the homes is brought to the composting site, Secondary segregation is carried out by the housekeeping staff to remove any foil, plastic or any other objects that might have been accidentally left in the food waste. Kitchen waste is then put through the food shredder to reduce the surface area of the food in order to fasten the composting process. The crushed food waste is put in the large rotary drums. To balance the high nitrogen content in the kitchen waste, carbon in the form of dried shredded leaves is added in equal or more proportion bioenzyme powder is also added to introduce more microbes and help in the decomposition process the drum is rotated once or twice every day for about 5 minutes to let air be circulated inside rotation is important in aerobic composting as it prevents the waste pile inside the drum from compacting becoming anaerobic and smelling because our solution is in the playground where all the children also come and play and we have multiple sports there uh, it works beautifully because then we are not attracting flies there's no smell going out everybody is able to function and uh, do their stuff happily without anybody being disturbed by the waste solution being there the rotation feature in the drums also helps in the movement of waste from one end to the other Occasionally the housekeeping boys also need to chip in to move the waste pile forward. After a period of about 5 to 10 days the waste is taken out from the other end of the rotary drum. It is then put in the metal composting bins for 3 to 4 weeks. Raking is done regularly to provide air circulation and to allow heat to be spread uniformly across the pile. Once the compost is cured it is left for a few days to stabilize before it is given to the residents and used in the community parks and green areas 
I think it has really brought the community together for this cause. Uh, they participate very happily by giving away their uh, kitchen waste to the compost setup. Also, we've been able to nourish our uh, 16 parks with the homegrown compost, and it has had a huge impact on the quality of our soil in Nirvana.